when will the zuhur of Mahdi alayhi salam be? When will Mahdi alayhi salam appear? When he feels like it, he's going to appear. Hmm. Let me ask you. Are there not enemies of Mahdi alayhi salam? Yes, there are. It's called Dajjal, right? Is Dajjal also waiting for Mahdi alayhi salam to appear to try to finish him? Yes. Of course. So, why we have to tell you now when Mahdi alayhi salam is going to come? Won't everybody know? Won't those ones who are enemies of Allah, enemies of His Prophet, enemies of Mahdi Salam will also know? So why are we giving secrets away? <laughs> Let me go one step further. Why do you need to know? For what reason? You have some secret spiritual army somewhere that you need to know so that you'll be ready why you need to know? So many people, they want answers to their questions. But we say, why do you need these answers? For what? What is the reason for this? If you know when Mahdi is going to come, and then what? So many people I used to know, belonging to same way too, thinking that Mahdi salam is going to come exactly in this time. So up till that time, they max out their credit cards. This is the nature of the ego. Up till that time, they do everything because they say, well, once Mahdi salam comes, there's not going to be any electricity or technology, so let's do everything that we can right now, take advantage of everything. That time, we're not going to be responsible. What kind of thinking is this? This is not Islam. This is not spirituality. This is nafsani thinking. Of course. Can you be nafsani thinking? If you're in tariqat still, of course you can. <laughs> you have a shah, you're not following a shah, then you're following your shaitan. That's all. In the way, in the sirat al mustaqim, you've already deviated. If you want to know what, when Mahdi is going to come, so what? If you know the answer, what are you going to do with it? Hmm, people don't know. If you're saying, I want to prepare. For the coming of Mahdi alayhi salam, then that time, sincerely, we are going to tell you, prepare now. He's going to come very soon. And that answer is going to be enough for you. You're not going to say now, I need to know exactly when. Because that time it doesn't matter to you. When? You're going to start preparing from now. Should have been preparing from years ago. Because awliya Allah, they are waiting for appearances of Mahdi alayhi salam every single day. They go to sleep tonight thinking Mahdi alayhi salam, hoping and praying Mahdi alayhi salam is going to come in the Fajr time, real. It's not coming, hoping in the Zuhur time, real. Not coming in Asr time, every day, every week, every year. Believing that. And preparing themselves for his appearance. Not just asking when he's going to appear, but preparing for his appearance. So what are we doing? What are you doing to prepare for the coming of Mahdi alayhi salam? Mm. Those with wrong intentions, they're not going to be preparing for Mahdi alayhi salam. They're going to prepare for Dajjal. It shows. Why are you following a shaykh? To get extraordinary powers? To win this dunya? Uh, if you are looking for that, Mahdi alayhi salam is not going to give you that. Dajjal may give you that. Mahdi alayhi salam is going to bring out the forgotten sunnats of the Prophet wasalam. Are you reviving the forgotten sunnats of the Prophet right now? Yes, you are. Then that time, sit and wait for Mahdi alayhi salam. You are already preparing for him, not to worry. But if you're not reviving the sunnat, 
if you're not taking the shariat, if you're not believing in the coming second coming of the Ottomans, if you're not believing that the Hilafat must return, if you're not believing that the world that we're living right now from top to bottom is in the system of the Jaliyat, then if you're not believing in all of that, we say you are not preparing for Mahdi alayhi salam's return because you are believing that everything is okay. That time you are preparing yourself for Dajjal because Dajjal is going to come to say everything is okay and he's going to make everything to become better. He's going to show you paradise, but in reality it is hell. He's going to show you hell, but in reality it is a paradise. He's going to say that paradise is a hell, and a hell it is a paradise. What we're doing now, reviving the sunnah of the Rasulullah living an Islamic life, so many people, including Muslims, especially Muslims, they're saying, why are you putting yourselves through hell? Why are you putting yourselves through hell? Enjoy your life. This is not paradise, this is hell, they're saying. What is paradise, we ask them? This, live free. Do whatever you want to do. Don't let someone else to tell you how to live your life. You have education, you have a mind. Don't let anyone to tell you what to do. You are your own boss, you are your own destiny. You do whatever that you want. That is paradise, they say. But the Ahli Iman, Ahli Al-Haq knows that that is hell. It's not paradise. So Dajjal is going to come. He's going to turn everything upside down. Mahdi alayhi salam is going to come. And he's going to show the reality. Inshallah. May we all be busy with preparing for the coming of Mahdi alayhi salam. Mm. Good luck to you.